Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Gil and I make content about content creation. In today's video, I'm hanging out with Anton and Toya and they're gonna help me tell y'all five beginner tips and illustrate why these tips are so important. So let's get straight into the tips. Number one, location. Try to scope out your location before you start shooting just to avoid any type of uh, issues that may arise. Let's say you shoot at a park and a park doesn't permit you to take pictures or you're going somewhere and there is literally no way to shoot because the place is dilapidated or just run down and ugly. All right, number two, understand lighting. Try to shoot at the perfect uh, time of day just so you can get the perfect sunset or whatever you're trying to shoot a sunset or a sunrise. You never want to shoot at noon typically because the sun is like right over your head and you get the thing called like raccoon eyes and the shadows are horrible and it's just, it's just pretty bad. So try to shoot at the best time to get the best light for the type of shoot that you're trying to shoot. Number three, something that I used to run into a lot when I started photography is always bring an extra battery. There've been countless times where I'm shooting a video or a photo and literally my camera dies. It's, it's bad, it's annoying, and it can easily be alleviated by just buying an extra battery. So bring an extra battery. Number four, composition. This is probably the thing that I've learned last in photography. I tried, I understood aperture, shutter speed, all that, but understanding composition really is one of the major keys in photography because it helps you, it helps tell a story. It helps you tell the viewers where they should be looking, what should they be paying attention to, and it helps accentuate the subject you're trying to capture. So understanding composition, framing your shot is extremely important. All right, the last and final tip, number five, bring an extra camera body, an extra lens, or whatever the case is. Because if you have only one camera, you don't have a camera at all. When you're taking photos or videos, it's good to have multiple cameras just in case something happens to that camera. It's really good to have multiple angles. And if you have an extra photographer, you technically have an extra camera. So always bring a backup because something could happen to your camera, a uh, menu could be all messed up. Just always have a backup and have a backup for your backup. And for that backup, have a backup for that backup. All right, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.